viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2024 GCE Mathematics paper team. So if you haven't seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the screen. You find a lot of resources that is going to be helpful to ensure that you armor and ace that exam of yours. We look at question 3. 3a explains 2 over x plus 2 minus 5 over 3x minus 1 as a single fraction in its simplest form. So let us move step by step to answer these questions so that you follow me along as I explain. So question A, we have 2 over x plus 2 minus 5 over 3x minus 1. The question is assessing your ability to deal with negatives. That's what the question is assessing you on. So the first thing that you notice always in this case, the common denominator is a product of the two denominators. Then you're going to have two here. Then you're going to have this one into this one. You're going to get this one. That's what you're going to get. Then the other way around is also true. So we're going to have now 3x minus 1. Then minus 5. Why minus 5? Because of this negative. So you need to get that negative. Pay attention to that. Then I'll use a different column. Then in this case, we're going to have x plus 2. Then at this point, it's just expanding. So we're going to have 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Then negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Then negative 5 times plus 2 is minus 10. Then over the product of these two. Then this is going to give me 6x. Then you collect the like terms. So this one goes this side. So it will become minus 5x. Then we are going to have minus 2. So this one comes with this one, so it will be minus 10. Then over x plus 2, 3x minus 1. Then this will give me x, because 6x, we take out 5x, we we'll get we'll remain with him 1x. Then negative 2, then move 10 more steps to the negative, we are going to get negative 12. Then this gives me x plus 2 then 3x minus 1. So this is the answer. So if we simplify this, you can simplify it further than that. Once you do this, you are good to go, and you get the 3 marks. Move to question B. In the following diagram, we have vector OA, which is equal to A, OB, which is equal to B, and the ratio of AX to AB equals 2 to 3. Express in terms of vector A and of vector b a of loma numeral one vector a b b vector x b c vector x o then loma numeral two of b given also that o y vector o y equals to three multiplied by vector o x show that vector b y equals a plus b as a vector so let us answer this one step by step so we start with a of loma numeral one. So we know that to get to B, which is OB, you can go by OA, then AB. So we say OB, vector OB is the same as vector OA, then plus vector AB. What are we looking for? We're looking for AB. So meaning, Vector AB is equal to vector OB minus vector OA. So what I've just done is move this one this side so that I mean with vector AB. Then I know what OB is. What is OB? OB I've been told is just this vector B. So meaning AB, vector AB is equal to vector B minus or a which is the vector a so once you do that you're good to go and you get 
that one mark. Move to B, which is in XB. So XB is in, in this direction. XB, that's what we are looking for. So if you look at XB, we have this ratio. So we know that, um, we know this ratio. So based on that ratio, we should be able to know that vector XB should be equal to one third of vector AB. Because if this ratio AB, AX, which is from here to here, is a 2 out of the whole thing. So meaning this is a 1. This is one. So that when you add these parts, because the ratio is, if you see, you have 2, 2, 3, which is AX, then meaning XB should be 1, 2, 3. So meaning this is a 1, this is a 2, meaning this should be 1 out of 3, which is A to 3 of AB. So from that point, we just come here and substitute. So it's going to be one third multiplied by vector this minus that vector A. Then this will give me the answer for B. As simple as that. Move to C. Question C is asking us to find the XO. So XO, we at X, then you move in this direction. What's the alternative? The alternative is to go to A then come to O, like this. So what this tells me is, for C, X O is equal to X A plus A O, that vector. So you can see from the diagram, we have X A, then A O, like that. But I know what I have there is AO is equal to the negative of OA, which is the normal movement. So normal movement is from O to A, then like that. Then again, I know how can I find in XA. So XA is equal to the negative of AX. So what do I know? I know that XM, XA is equal to two thirds of AB. How do I know that? I know that from this ratio. Since this ratio, let me use a lead ink, this, this ratio. We know from that. Okay, then I've already found AB, AB which is this one. So I can easily find this. So meaning my AX is equal to 2 over 3 multiply by him. B vector B minus C, A. Then, do I know AO? Yes, I know AO. So, AO is just A. So, AO, I can find it from OA, which is this. So, meaning, now I can substitute. So this one is nothing but negative of AX, then minus again like that. Then I have this one to be this one, so it will be minus 2 over 3 BA minus A, then minus A. Then at this point, it's just a matter of expanding. So I'm going to get 2 over 3 vector B plus 2 over 3 vector A, then minus vector M. So from here, we'll just simplify further. Then simplifying further, we're going to get minus 2 over 3 B, the like terms. Then 2 third of vector A minus vector A, we're going to get 1 third of vector M. Then we know one third is common, so it will be a minus one third. Then we're going to have two vector beam plus vector A. 
So this will be our final answer. Once you do that, you are good to go. We look at Loma number 2 of beam. Given also that vector OY is equal to 3 multiplied by vector OX, show that vector BY equals vector A plus B. So OY is what we can use. So we know that how do we get to OY? To get to OY, there are two loops. You can go to OA, then AY, or you can get to OB, then BY. So let us use this loop. So this is the alternative. So to get to O1, we can either go to OB, then plus BY. So this is either because we are looking for BY. So from this, I can tell that I just need to bring this one this side to find BY. So hence, BY, vector BY, is equal to vector OY minus minus what minus ob ob i know what ob is ob is already known okay it's already known do i know what oy is so i can find oy because i've already found ox how do i find ox i know what x o is so to find ox i just negate it then i'm going to have ox so I can find OY. Then I know OB. So remember OB is this one, which is vector B. So let me just go and substitute. So OY is equal to 3, 3 what? 3 OX minus OB, which is the same as 3 multiplied by negative of o, OX minus O B. So O X we're just from finding it we found this one. Okay? From our calculation we know what it is. It is negative one over three multiplied by two vector B plus in vector A. So that's what it is. So now I can start substituting so it's going to be three multiplied by negative then inside there I'm going to put one third multiplied by to B plus A. These are vectors. Remember, this is what we just found. We are just substituting then minus A, vector B, which is A or B. Then it's a matter of playing with these negatives. If you want, you can do them separately. If you want, you can do them separately. You can find all X, then you just substitute. But I can undo a negative, so it will be 3. Then negative times negative is a positive, so I'm going to have 1 third, 2 vector b plus vector a then this minus vector b so what is key is ability to deal with it, this one once you can deal with that one then it becomes easier then three times that i'm just going to get this one this one and this one cancel so i'm going to end up with two vector b plus vector a minus vector b this is what i'm going to end up simplifying this one which is we are looking for b1 I'm going to end up with 2 vector b minus a, vector b plus a, vector a, which will give me vector b plus a, vector a, which is the same as m plus a, this, ends shown. So if you notice, ends we demonstrated that we are getting that answer. So this is how you answer this question to get the full marks. So please join me in the next episode as we look at the other question, which is question 4.